Downton Abbey. Have you ever wondered what life was like in Britain in the early 20th century? Let's take a look at one of Britain's most popular historical drama series, Downton Abbey. The series takes you to Yorkshire, England in 1910. The life of Earl Grantham and his family in the grand country home of Downton Abbey come to life on your TV screen. We meet the Earl and his wife, the Countess, as well as their daughters, Lady Mary, Lady Edith, and the youngest one, Lady Sybil. You get to know the characters of this rich English family and you learn about the concerns and everyday problems they face in a world that is changing. You also learn about historical events during and after World War I. An event that changes the life of the family is the sinking of the Titanic. On board is the heir to Downton Abbey, who dies. The next heir in line is Matthew Crawley, a lawyer, who comes to live at Downton with his mother. Their modern ideas are very different from those of the Earl and his aristocratic mother. Maggie Smith is a great actress, and she plays the part of the Earl's mother. The Dowager Countess of Grantham is a strong character and represents old England that fights anything new and modern. Viewers love the scenes that show how the Crawleys celebrate Christmas or a wedding, or the famous scene when the Dowager Countess of Grantham invites her son's wife for tea. But the show also looks at the life of the servants living downstairs. Jim Carter as Charles Carson, Brendan Coyle as John Bates, Phyllis Logan as Mrs. Hughes, and Joanne Froggart as Anna Bates give amazing performances. Downton Abbey was written by Julian Fellows and stars Hugh Bonville and Elizabeth McGovern as the Earl and Countess of Grantham. Lord Grantham sees his large country home, Downton Abbey, and all its land as his mission in life. But the sinking of the Titanic changes everything. As the drama unfolds in Downton Abbey, both the Grantham family and their servants face challenges that could alter their lives forever. The show's first series was in 2010, and there are six series in all. Downton Abbey has won many awards. In 2011, it won the Golden Globe for Best Miniseries. TV viewers in many countries all over the world sit in front of their TV to watch the new episode of Downton Abbey. Don't miss the chance to see this exciting drama series. Top 10 Trivia on The Avengers. Today we are looking at 10 pieces of trivia about 2012's The Avengers. Number 10, Box Office Smash. Our trivia list begins with a fact about The Avengers' astonishing box office success. This was the first Marvel film to pass the $1 billion mark, and since it beat the record already set by The Dark Knight, it became the highest earning comic book film ever. It was also the first movie ever to earn $200 million in America in its first three days. Not too bad for a film shot in just 92 days. Just like Budapest all over again! You and I remember Budapest very differently. Number 9. The New Hulk To design the biggest Avenger, CGI geniuses used real-life people for inspiration. 
the Hulk's muscular body was modeled on a bodybuilder, while his face was designed to look like actor Mark Ruffalo. Ruffalo also played the Green Beast on set through motion capture, so the Hulk kept the actor's real movements. To perfect the Hulk's familiar voice, Ruffalo's vocals were mixed with Lou Ferrigno's, the actor who starred in the 70s TV series. Puny God. Number 8. Thor's Diet and Costume <laughs> You people are so petty and tiny. Playing a mythological god isn't easy. To make sure he was big and muscular enough to play the Norse hero, Chris Hemsworth increased the amount of protein in his daily diet by eating more chicken, fish, steak, and eggs. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> his costume showed off his powerful arms and paid tribute to the character's earlier comic appearances. No hard feelings, point break. You got a mean swing. Number 7. The Black Sabbath Shirt the t-shirt that Tony Stark wore during the film was a gesture to the heavy metal band Black Sabbath. In 1970, the band recorded the iconic song Iron Man. While the song was not meant to be about the Marvel character, it was connected to the hero when it became Iron Man's live-action theme in the film. I am Iron Man. Number 6. Nick Fury these days, the character of Nick Fury is always associated with Samuel L. Jackson, despite the fact that the original comic book character was completely different. During the 2000s, the character was redesigned in the Ultimate Marvel Universe to look like Jackson, years before he was even cast in the role. Since then, Jackson became only the second actor to play the same comic book superhero in five different movies, after Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Until such time as the world ends, we will act as though it intends to spin on. Number 5. Reduced Runtime With a movie this packed, it's no surprise that director Joss Whedon's original cut was over three hours long. To shorten it, Whedon cut half an hour of scenes about Captain America. Thankfully, those scenes were not wasted. They were later used in Captain America The Winter Soldier. <laughs> Neil. Not today. Number 4. Location Were you surprised to see your favorite heroes travel to Germany? Sorry to point this out, but those outdoor scenes were actually filmed in Cleveland in the United States. You can tell because several of the city's famous landmarks are visible if you look closely. Nope, that wasn't New York City in the film either, it was actually Ohio. Number 3. The Chitauri These alien enemies first appeared in an alternate universe Avengers comic. While the Skrulls are far more popular enemies in the comics, Joss Whedon decided to feature the Chitauri in his first Avengers film as he wanted to save the Skrulls for a sequel. Interestingly, the Chitauri are shapeshifters, but that ability was not featured in the film. Their name comes from Zulu mythology and describes serpents from the sky, which suits the way they were shown in the film. Number 2. Thanos In this post credit scene, the team's future foe is revealed to be Thanos. A longtime Marvel supervillain, his name comes from the Greek word for death. Coming from a powerful alien race called the Eternals, Thanos is obsessed with the end of all life in the universe. He is searching for a relic called the Infinity Gauntlet to help him achieve this goal. To challenge them is to court death. Number 1. Post Credit Scene. You ever tried shawarma? There's a shawarma joint about two blocks from here. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. Topping off our trivia list is a fact about another and much lighter post credit scene. Here we see the gang taking advantage of Tony Stark's meal suggestion. This scene was actually shot and added after the film's LA premiere at a local restaurant. The filmmakers had to carefully hide Captain America actor Chris Evans' newly grown beard. All right, hey. All right, good job, guys. Uh, let's just not come in tomorrow. 